Okay. Today I will be testing the Octus Rift Development Kit 2, DK2, in Second Life. Um, Linden Labs, the creators of Second Life, have released a new viewer with DK2 support. There was a beta out for a while, but now there's an official release and it works quite well, um, although there are some glitches. Um, I've chosen um, Berlin in the 1920s because it's a nice sim. Everything is to scale, looks realistic. They even have a strict dress code. I'm not sure I fit that code, but you probably won't see any furries or crazy people walking around that are supposed to walk around in Second Life. I do not know. I'm no expert in Second Life. I'm only a month old in Second Life. But, uh, well, let's get started. Uh, we're standing on Unter den Linden in Berlin. In the distance we see uh, the Brandenburger Tor gate. Um, these are actual places that you can visit today in Berlin. Um, of course they have redecorated a bit during the war, after the fall of the Berlin Wall, but it still looks a bit alike. But I will now get my DK2 and switch to DK2 mode. I do that by um, typing shift control D or choosing the mode in the me menu. Okay. I will put on my Oculus Rift. And now it looks pretty good, although I'm now in third person view. And uh, there are actually three views in uh, virtual reality mode uh, the third person view, and there are two first person views one with menus and one without. And that's probably the best mode for virtual reality. So um, if I can find the M key on my keyboard, I'm now in the first person mode without any menus. This is first person mode with menus. And of course, this works, you can use all the menus, but it's not really yeah, easy to chat because I don't see my keyboard. Um, if I pick my mouse, I can choose things in the menu, so I can remove a menu or bring, it, bring another menu up, choose the chat menu, but it's not really easy to use because uh, if I want to chat I have to uh, type blindly. So, the best mode is to choose um, the best mode is the first person view without menus. So, um, I can walk around with the cursor keys. I can use my mouse to look around. But of course I can use my head to look around. And that makes it pretty realistic. So, I will start walking. Um, well, there are some people sitting on those benches. And there's a phone booth. And what probably is a glitch is that when I'm in uh, virtual reality mode, the um, the sim isn't updating all the time, so when I switch to uh, normal mode, all buildings get rendered that are within the draw distance. The draw distance is the distance you uh, want things to get rendered within. And in the virtuality mode, it's a bit strange. Oh, there's a nice zeppelin flying around. Um, here's the Hotel Adlon. That is actually at Unter den Linden in about this spot in real life. Um, there goes the Strassenbahn, the tram that you can actually get up. Um, I will enter the phone booth. 
maybe a bit tall right now, but by pressing Q key I can reset my view. So there's a phone and an um, addressable book. What's it? And you see that by looking around, I can look behind the phone to the side of the book. And uh, works pretty nice. Oh, you see that you get even in the first person view without uh, menus, you get uh, chat messages. Now it has disappeared again. So, okay, it's still in the hotel at long. Um, yeah, this whole sim is made by uh, Fraulein Jo. I think she has done a great job. It looks all very realistic and contemporary. Um, I'll try to walk around some more. Oops. Okay. So the Q button that so will press now resets your view. So there are some glitches that sometimes um, the mouse gets confused, confused, and you start turning around, or you're suddenly looking backwards. Not pressing Q will uh, reset it. Well, here's the Strassenbahn. I could get on the um, tram, but um, yeah, I have to switch menus, but it would be nice. Um, well, the nice thing about the Oculus Rift is that you can look at things in detail, so it's a pleasure only looking at this palm tree. Because it looks so more realistic than it would on a normal screen. Oh, there's the Brandenburger Tor. Um, okay, well, as you can see, there are some buildings missing across the street, so I will switch to normal view and then back to virtual reality view, and then they are again. So, no, oh, still some people sitting there. Yeah. That's the thing about the virtual reality mode that you're probably behaving a bit asocial, antisocial, because uh, it's not easy to chat. So, uh, people probably think you're walking around like a moron or something. But um, for me, it's pretty nice and realistic. There's the Zeppelin again, and well, for a moment you can really think that you are back in Berlin in 1929. So, very nice, and thanks for watching, and if you have a DK2, or you think of uh, buying one, please do, or wait for the consumer version that's out probably somewhere next year. And this is one of the nice experiences you can have. Okay, bye.